Hey guys, to resolve the current underlining misunderstanding between the people from the Southeast and some authorities in Lagos State following the outcome of the 2023 elections, Igbo leaders in Lagos Thursday called on their governors and other top representatives to seek a political resolution. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. To resolve the current underlining misunderstanding between the people from the Southeast and some authorities in Lagos State following the outcome of the 2023 elections, Igbo leaders in Lagos on Thursday called on their governors and other top representatives to seek a political solution. The call came when the leaders had a meeting with the governors of Imo and any good state, Senator Hope Uzadema and Chief Peter Mba, together with the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Benjamin Kalu, and other business leaders from the Southeast in Lagos. Speaking at the meeting, the business mogul and the chairman, Chison Group, Mr. Chika Okafor said, We are not trouble makers and we also want one Nigeria. Let peace reign. We call on our leaders in the Southeast to seek political solution to the challenges people from the East are facing in Lagos states. On this part, convener, the new Nigerian group, Maazi Sam, said following the outcome of the elections, some feathers have been re-reefed and the lands have been threatened and people are beginning to be oversensitive towards what people do. Also, normal things done by the government sometimes are being misinterpreted. So Igbo people want a calm place to work and live. We are believers in Nigeria, and we are not troublemakers. And if there are consequences and misunderstanding that have emanated during the elections, we have said that the time has come for us to repair those relationships so that we can live with each other without hurting other, others' life or business. This is an opportunity for us to normalize the relationship so that the governors can seek political solution to the issues that we have. Also, President Igbo intellectuals, Mr. Chris Mbaukwe said, Igbo are pragmatic people and what we are seeking for is pragmatic solution. All we want is, is for peace to reign. Useless political leaders in Igbo land. Demolition of Igbo markets prove lack of respect to all the Igbo politicians. Yoruba are they sleeping when they are selling their house and land? They should go and sit down and stop making empty noise. Without the Igbos, the Lagos is zero. Stop talking like that. These are the statements that provoke the indigenous of Lagos. We should learn to conscious ourselves to avoid using such a statement. The issue is that Igbos are business people. If it's like Fulanese and Awosa, war we break up, we break out. You people are wasting your time until the needful is done. What will be done? Is nothing but hopeless man. Why not just go and develop your region and stop begging people for accommodating? Voiceless set of people. You are not ashamed. 90% of the, of the items you use, you bought from Igbo. You bought from Igbo. How much do you have that you can start a business that will satisfy 10,000 people when he will leave Lagos. For you to remember, a grave is placed on 1,000 acre of land 
but it will not take more than one meter on Lagos. When you die, they will make the hole and Lagos your grave. Even mad Igbo man will not be buried outside Igbo land. Peace to you. As their behavior indicates, even if they go back home, it will be here for their people. Though Igbos, they are so divided that they fear their kinsmen from other ethnic extraction. The Anambra man cannot like peaceful with the Abaribe or Sofia man. Igbo leaders, please drive into the root cause of your Igbo brothers' issues and prefer, prefer a long-lasting solution to your problems. Cause the problem, okay, okay, these are reactions from Nigerians. So. I know say since the presidential election in Nigeria, that was uh, uh, February 25th, that Peter will be won in Lagos. Life not going to be the same again for Igbos in Lagos. Even during the governorship election, it was hell. So many people was attacked and all that. Properties was destroyed, market burnt and all that. And now Lagos State is demolishing Alaba market. They call those houses they are demolishing as distressed buildings. But these people are saying that they did not even give them notice. They only gave them three days and they started demolishing these buildings. Even the distressed buildings they are talking about, they left it and started demolishing new buildings. So what is going on? So people are still saying because of the issues during the, you know, elections and all that. And that is why what is happening in Lagos is still happening. I think at this time, the president had to speak. Is from Lagos, and all this is started from him. People should vote for him. That is it now. He lost in Lagos. Igbo people made him to lost in Lagos, according to Lagosians. So at this time now, for peace to reign, he said he wants to bring Nigerians together. He had to speak. He needed to speak to his people. He needed to speak to Igbos in Lagos, so that peace will reign. That is just the only thing. Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the Nigerian president, because all these things started from him. Yes, during campaign and election and after election, he had to speak to his people as well. And the Igbos in Lagos, let peace reign. I'm dropping it, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.